First of all, I would like to thank Allah who gave us strength, knowledge to complete this project. Secondly, I would like to expand, extend my special thanks to Mr. Sheikh Ahmed, Mr. Ramzan, our parents, friends, and last but not the least, our teachers, without whom this endeavor would be incomplete. Before starting the presentation, I would like to introduce my group members. Starting from the left, he is Azam Hashmi, sitting adjacent to him is Bokas Hussain, and on the right most is Amir Muhammad Irfan. The title of our project is Automatic Palletizer. These are the contents of our presentation. To fulfill this aim, our objectives are to design a robotic arm capable of picking and placing objects, to monitor and display the function of the system, to sense and adjust the grip of any factor. In an industrial manufacturing process, after the packaging is completed, the palletization is done manually. We have automated this process of palletization. By doing so, we have overcome the effects of manual palletization, which yields in non-valued added outcomes like human errors, time wastage, and labor cost. This is made by keeping in mind the concept of low-level palletization, the size of the ob object and of course the availability of power in our workspace. This is the block diagram of our project. Here the main modules are highlighted as the control module, the communication module, the sensor module and the structure dynamics itself. This is all from my side. The presentation will be proceeded further by Azam Hashmi. Thank you, Wes. Now, um, the design, we definitely know that there are different kinds of uh, configurations in robot, uh, which are polar form, rectangular form, mascara, and so on and so forth. We have chosen art articulated robot, um, which has DP of Freedom 4 revolute joints. Along with that, the workspace vertical reach as 36.5 centimeters. A vertical stroke 46 centimeters, horizontal reach 31 centimeters, and horizontal stroke as 33.5 centimeters. Now, uh, the kinematics of the robot or the transformation matrix. Um, now, this this uh, transformation matrix basically is designed for specifically our robot. I mean, calculated specifically for our robot, uh, which we have uh, designed. Um, for sensing on the grip where we have used uh, FS, FSR, which is force sensitive resistor, and the end effector uh, method, I mean the gripper method is rack and pinion. Now this is uh, the design uh, of the robot, the base, the uh, rotating base basically, the shaft, the arms, the uh, upper arm and the lo I mean lower and the upper arm along with the gripper. Uh, this is the animation, so uh, you people could have the idea on what exactly we thought of and what we came of, uh, which would be on the demo, which would be in the demo itself. Now this is uh, basically the animation. The robot is basically palletizing each um, boxes in the box of uh, the, the assembly box. This was basically the concept and uh, by which we, we started working and the palletization is complete as shown. Now I would be calling Wakas for continuing on the presentation from here. Thank you, Azim. This is the uh, schematic of our 
controller board here you can see the different connectors are there J1 is connected for the servo board while J2 connector is connected for the RX and DX module J3 connector is for LCD and J4 is for keypad connector this is the schematic of our servo board and FSR basically here you can see LM358 IC which will sense and produce the voltage for our FSR the motors are connected, six motors are there our system sorry here you can see uh, there are keypad module, different modules are there the keypad module RS23 module and LCD module is there Our system requires 5 volt DC and 3 ampere. The torque of the our uh, motors are 0.33 Nm, which can which is fixed and can't be varied. While doing this analysis on a report, there are many questions like how to program a report, how to use the tools, terminology, and technology. These questions are answered through K keep it simple analysis it is it helps us in avoiding excessive manipulators complicated tools complex designing and algorithm hence reducing the cost as well as the timer time with which an improved and representation performance has been achieved now i would like mr amit to to continue the presentation